organization class 1 study some terms first sterilization sterilization means if you are removing completely removing microorganism from any surfaces or medium or article that process is known as sterilization through sterilization we can remove microorgan vegetative form of microorganism as well as spore form of microorganism okay second term is disinfection disinfection means here all the microorganisms are not removed like sterilization here only um, pathogenic microorganisms are destructed or removed from the surfaces okay or infection causing microorganisms are removed from the surfaces next term is antisepsis antisepsis means here some antiseptic chemical agents we are directly applying on our wounds or tissue that will inhibit the growth of bacteria okay then next is chemical disinfectant okay so we can say that this antiseptic agents are a group of chemical disinfectant but normal disinfectant we are used to clean surfaces and all but this chemical disinfectants we can that is the antiseptics that we can safely apply on our skin mucous membrane in order to prevent the inhibition caused by bacteria okay such chemical agents are generally known as antiseptics okay then there are some agents they are named as chemical agents they are named as uh, bactericidal agents or germicide which means sidal means they kill the particular bacteria some of the chemical agents they are bacteriostatic in nature bacteriostatic agents that means they they will not kill the microorganism they inhibit the multiplication of bacteria or just they inhibit the growth of bacteria but the bacteria remain alive term is decontamination decontamination means it is a general term uh, in which we are removing danger contaminants uh, including microbial chemical radioactive and other ha hazards from an article or area there are various means for uh, sterilization they are broadly classified into two physical agents and chemical agents physical agents include sunlight drying method dry heat method in dry heat method flaming incineration and hot air oven is used next is moist heat method in which pasteurization boiling steam under normal pressure steam under pressure is used filtration by using several methods ultrasonic and sonic vibrations similarly chemical agents are also used for sterilization which include alcohols different types of alcohols different types of aldehydes dyes and halogens next uh, similarly chemical agents like phenols surface active agents metallic salts and several types of gases are also used for sterilization let's discuss one by one the first type of physical agents used is sunlight uh, sunlight is having bactericidal activity that means it kills the uh, bacteria and it is uh, a spontaneous sterilization method naturally occurring uh, method and uh, under natural conditions the sterilizing power of sunlight it varies depending upon some conditions for example direct sunlight in tropical countryside uh, it is uh, not filtered off by impurities in atmosphere so they have maximum germicidal effect uh, two scientists named sembel and greg they are from india uh, they conducted an experiment in which they uh, exposed the typhoid bacilli on a piece of white cloth uh, uh, to direct uh, sunlight and it is killed within 2 hours Uh, along with that they kept a control also in the control what they did was they kept this bacteria in the dark and they remained uh, alive after even after 6 days so and uh, if the bacteria is suspended in water and they are readily destroyed when exposed to the sunlight second physical method used is drying drying uh, the water content from the bacterial cell is Uh, removed so it is having a deleterious or dangerous effect on many bacteria but it is an unreliable method and it is having only theoretical uh, application and through this method this endospores remain unaffected we cannot remove endospore by drying 
third physical method is use of heat heat is the most reliable method for uh, sterilization okay some materials they are readily damaged by heat so in uh, sterilization of such materials for the sterilization of such materials we need to use lower temperature and we have to keep it for longer cycles if you are using heat as a sterilization method the influence of sterilization uh, influence of heat on sterilization uh, it is again depends on several factors that means what type of heat we are using for whether dry heat or moist heat second uh, factor is temperature and time at, uh, at what temperature we are sterilizing and uh, how long it takes that also a factor third is number of microorganisms present uh, if we uh, uh, if the uh, sterilizing surface or article which contain large number of microorganisms it take higher it takes longer time and higher temperature for sterilization again this sterilization efficiency often depends upon what type of microorganism present on the surface or article what species strain and their endosporing capacity this all are influencing the sterilization uh, efficiency next is uh, the type of material from which the microorganism has to be removed so when we are using heat as a sterilization method two types of heat we can use for sterilization dry heat and moist heat first let us discuss about dry heat sterilization methods in which first one is flaming flaming means it is commonly used for the sterilization of uh, in inoculating loop uh, wire uh, tips of forceps uh, spatulas etc okay how we can sterilize means we can use bunsen flame and keep the material on the flame until it become red hot the second dry heat sterilization method is known as incineration okay so this incineration is an excellent method it is usually used to destroy some materials like contaminated cloth animal carcasses carcasses means dead body and pathological materials especially from hospitals and laboratories okay plastic such as pvc polythene they can um, Uh, okay they can also be destroyed in the similar way uh, but polystyrene materials if you are uh, rem uh, destroying such materials through incineration they emit dense dense black smoke so uh, they should be at autoclaved in appropriate containers